Happy Saturday, everyone. I am back with another non-phone work at home job lead that I would like to share with you. Plus, we're going to be talking about a company that is currently hiring for, it's not a a non-phone work at home job, but it's a customer service job. We're going to talk about how to pass the personality test, as well as talk about two websites to go on and practice your typing skills. As you can see, my channel is all about non-phone work at home job leads. So if you're looking for a work from home job, that you're not on the phone, you have landed in the right place. Don't forget to join me on February 11th, 2022 at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time that I will have a guest, um, Joe McLean and Susan McLean. They're from the company National United Meth. Medicare advisor. Um, this is the work from home job that I will be talking about in this video, but they're hiring for customer service and admin to work from home. So join me so you can go ahead and talk to the hiring manager and see what you can do to go ahead and get started working from home today. Okay. So mark your calendar. Now I'm going to go ahead and dive right into the job. Now we're going to be talking about K2 share. They're currently seeking data clerk to work from home. Now it only requires a high school diploma. And according to Glassdoor, it, the pay is $15 an hour. So basically what you will be doing is you're going to perform web-based research in data mining, perform data entry tasks into both Microsoft Excel and Salesforce CRM. Now, the knowledge is strong in oral written communication skills, ability to work individually and as a part of team, and they want you to be able to work 10 to 15 hours per week. So if that sounds like something that you're able to do, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply. Now, we're talking about Planet Professional. They're seeking administrative assistant data entry to work from home. This is a temp job. You'll be a 1099. And according to Glassdoor, the pay is between $13 and $18 an hour. It could be more depending on your experience. So basically what you'll be doing is you're going to gather and organize data, analyze and evaluate data, create a dashboard and matrix in effort to understand donor retention. So when you go down here, they're looking for someone that has one to three years of admin experience, including proficient in Microsoft Office Suite, and then they want you to be familiar with financial analyzing skills. So if that sounds like something that you're able to do, make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply. Now, I'm talking about the company National United Medicare Advisor. This is the company that I will be going YouTube live with. I will be speaking to hiring manager um, Joe McLean and Susan McLean. They are the ones that are hiring um, for remote customer service rep and admin. Um, this company, they will train you, and the pay is $15 an hour. So to give you information about this position here is that um, you're going to be answering phones in a friendly, positive manner. Matter. You're going to help clients with questions with basic questions and schedule for the advisor. You're going to type data provided directly from the clients. And the skills is positive attitude, fast typing skills, and basic understanding of database. So if you're interested in applying for this position, again, this is this is a W-2 job. This is not a 1099 um, job. So if you're interested in applying, you will have to send your resume. So instead of sending your resume here, if you do accidentally send your resume here, Put my name, Theresa Sweat, or Real Work From Home Joss with Theresa so I can get credit for uh, referring you to this particular person. But here is the email um, that you will need to send it to is work from home job um, right here. This is where you will send your resume to in order for me to get credit. But again, if you accidentally send it to this email here, make for sure you put down Theresa Sweat, Real Work From Home Joss with Theresa so he can know that. Um, I referred you to this job here. So again, make for sure you join me um, as I go live with this company on February 11, 2022 at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and go over um, how to pass a personality test because some work-at-home jobs, you may run across that where you have to take a person allergy test. So you want to do everything that you can to apply, to, to make it through 
um, the applicant tracking system in um, your interview. So we're going to go ahead and just talk about this. You know, you may be asked to take a personality test. Uh, what it does, it helps to know what information an employee is looking for and how to approach the test. In this article, they will explain how to prepare for and pass a personality test and why a company used this. Now, I got this information on Indeed. I love going on Indeed, getting some of these information. So what are personality tests? What personality tests are collections of questions designed to help employees better understand what kind of person you are and what kind of employee you will be. Okay, so the tests are sometimes lengthy, but the answer you give provide a profile of how you might react and respond to a specific situation you may encounter into the workplace. Okay, so how to pass the personality test? Honest answer. Personality tests often include questions that ask for answers on a scale. For example, you may ask to rate how strongly you agree with a particular state, statement on a scale of one to five, with five being strongly agree and one being strongly disagree. Since you can't change who you are, give the answer that reflect how you really feel. Okay, so evolve too many of the same answers. Um, challenge yourself to decide what you really feel about a particular statement. You don't, you don't want an all answer to be cluttered or stream because an employee may read it as a lack of diverse opinion. Okay, so make for sure you be truthful on it. Study the job post. Study the job description when you take this personality test because um, whether you are fit for a particular position, it is important to keep the qualities the employee is seeking in back of your mind as you take this personality test. Jobs have specific traits that are indicated of success, such attention to details and the many questions you will answer. But be on the lookout for those that align with the job description as those will be the most important to determine if you pass or fail. OK, so consider taking a practice test. There are a lot of personality free personality tests that you can take online so you can start feeling comfortable when you actually have to take the test. Take your time. So basically what you do is you will read the instruction fully in each question several times before you choose your respond. Uh, make sure you know what the question is asking as it may change as the exam continues. Give yourself enough time to decide your answer based on who you are and what you value. Expect questions about your honesty, okay? Personality tests may also include questions to design to assess your characters. Employees will want to know what your value as you may be faced with either ethical challenge while on the job, okay? They want to see if you can handle that. And don't be surprised when the questions shift from personality traits to characters. So they just basically want to make for sure that you're a good fit for the position. And what do personality test measures? They measure interpersonal skills. You answer Your answer gives employees a sense of how you get along with others, provide feedbacks and encouragement, and otherwise interact with coworkers. Motivation. Employees want to know what drives you to achieve success and whether their company or culture provides it. Your answer on personality tests give an indication of this. Judgment. Jobs often require independent thinking and decision making as supervisors cannot be present at all times. Personality tests give an indication of how you will respond in certain situations, stressful or otherwise. OK, so why do companies use these personality? The reason why companies use these personality tests is basically to gain additional insight and information into job candidates and it help them choose the best possible person for a job role, okay? And they do this to protect their investment in recruiting, hiring, and training employees. So make for sure um, the goal of this personality test is not to make a judgment about a candidate or a person. It's just a personality test that's designed to help identify if there is a fit between the requirement of the job and the person and their behavior, okay? So that is all what the personality test is. And they're saying, can you refuse to take a personality test for a job? Yes, you can refuse. You can decline to take a personality test, but you may be ending your um, not getting a job at this company, okay?
So um, just remember, it's, it's a lot of people looking for work from home jobs. So make for sure um, you just do the very best that you can in everything that you do. Um, passing this personality test, if you have to pass it, or any assessment test in general. You can do it. You can do it. Just practice and you would do fine. Now I'm going to give you two websites where you can go and practice your typing skills. Um, I talk about this in all of my videos because it's very important. When you go and look at a job post, they require that you have some kind of typing, whether it's data entry or just typing in general. And that is one skill that they're not going to train you on the job. You have to know how to type. So this is a free website where you can go and practice your typing skills every single day. It's typingtest.com. You can check your typing skills in a minute. You can choose how long you want to type. One minute, two minute, three minute, five minute, 10 minute, you choose. So if I want to practice t two minutes, I'm just going to show you. And I want it to be, um, I say hard tax. And you hit start test and you can start typing you can choose normal you can you choose pro it's up to you pro i am used to typing this way here but you can choose and once you type everything or once the timer goes off if you choose time two minutes and it goes off in two minutes then it would give you your score now it says analyze the results i did not type anything but this is what it will look like once your minute is up and then you know it tells you so um, take advantage of all these other typing tests down here in order to increase your chance of um, getting that job so go ahead and check that out today this is free again this is free 99 now the good thing about official typing test.com you can practice your typing test as well as your 10 key test, which is data entry, you will receive a typing certificate and they will give you typing tips. So if you go on here, like say for example, data entry, this is what you will see. You can do the full 10 key test, zip code test, typing test. That's what you can do. And then when you go here to typing tips, they will give you information tips about what you can do in order to get better and to become a good typist. So I'm gonna do a recap just in case you missed something. I gave you two websites where you can go and practice your typing skills, officialtypingtest.com as well as typingtest.com. We talked about how to pass a personality test. Make for sure you go ahead and watch this on your own time, as well as if you want to, you can watch the video too, but it can give you information on how to pass this personality test if it is a requirement or part of the assessment test when you are applying for a work from home job and then we talked about this company here um basically national united medicare advisor they're seeking remote customer service representative i will be going youtube live with susan and joe mclean on Friday, February 11, 2022 at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. They're looking for a remote customer service rep and an admin to work from home. Um, again, the starting pay is $15 an hour. So make for sure um, you sh mark your calendar because you're actually talking to um, Joe uh, McLean and Susan McLean. They're the one that doing the hiring. Um, so if you're interested in applying for the position, make for sure that you use um, this email address right here. So I will get credit um, for it, uh, referring you to this job. If you happen to um, send your resume here, make for sure you write some kind of way. Um, I was referred by the rest of Sweat or real work from home jobs with the rest. And so again, this is a W-2 job, it's not a 1099 job. Um, they will train you and again, it's $15 an hour. Go ahead and take advantage of this and join me on YouTube Live where I will be chatting with them. And this is your opportunity to ask questions um, as well. Also, I gave you two non-phone work at home job leads. We talked about planning professional. They're seeking administrative assistant. This is a data entry job. This is a temp job. So you'll be 1099. And according to Glassdoor, the pay is between 13 and $18 an hour. Again, this is a non-phone work at home job lead. We talked about K2 share. They're seeking data clerk. All you need is a high school diploma. And according to Glassdoor, the pay is $15 an hour. It could be more. And if you're interested, you hit apply for the job. Again, we talked about, I'm, I will be going live, YouTube live on February 11, 2022 
at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, again, I will have a guest, Joe McLean and Susan McLean from the company National United Medicare Advisor. They're seeking customer service rep and admin to work from home. So come, come and join and to get your questions asked. A lot of people are asking questions, well, do he hire worldwide? Um, this is your opportunity to speak with him on my YouTube live stream. So again, mark your calendar for February 11, 2022 at 6 o'clock p.m. And we're going to go and talk about my channel. Um, I talk about my channel, Real Work From Home Jobs with Teresa. It is all about no phone work at home job leads. So if you're looking for a work from home job where you're not on the phone, you have landed in the right place, make sure you consider subscribing to my channel. I would love for you to be a part of the family. Don't forget to turn on all your notifications so when I go YouTube live, you'll be notified. When I upload new videos, you'll be notified and that will give you plenty of opportunity to go ahead and apply for these positions before they're no longer available. People are getting hired, and I would love for you to be the next one to get hired. If you would like to become a member of my YouTube channel, all you have to do is hit this join button. There is a short video explaining the benefits of becoming a member of my YouTube channel. I would like to give a shout out to everyone that is a member of my YouTube channel. I really appreciate the love, the support. Um, some of y'all have been with me ever since I started this YouTube channel membership a year ago. I started this YouTube membership January 2021. So I really appreciate the love and support from you and also the love and support from everybody that is supporting my channel. I really appreciate you. I love you guys. Um, don't forget to check the community tab as well. That is where I engage with you. I post things like when they have job fairs coming up, all that information is posted in the community tab as, as well as when I upload new videos to inform you to go ahead and apply for the positions Look at the video, apply for the positions before they're no longer available. All links to every job that I post in the video is under my YouTube description bar, meaning under the video. All you need to do is click under the video, click show more, scroll all the way down until you see links to the jobs. And that is where you can click on. You can see the job post for yourself and you can apply for the position. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.